Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is just going to be a video jumping on board, a kind of a neat thread that Bev over at ClarkoVision put out um, maybe a week or two ago, something like that. But a fun little kind of give me 10 type of thread. And basically what she asked was to show 10 album covers that displayed a uh, clenched fist. So not just a hand of some sort, but an actual clenched fist. So a uh, fun little thread. You know, I, I like when people put those kind of threads out because it's, it's neat for me because it, it, I always find that it makes me think about my collection in a different way. You know, you always get so in tune with digging through your collection, how you go pull out stuff to listen to and organizing and blah, blah, blah. But then when someone throws something like that, you, know, you start thinking about album covers and fists and it starts taking you... Like, you just kind of dive in, at least I do, I dive in from a different direction. Matter of fact, kind of going through and pulling out albums for this, it was making me go through and look at things, and I was like, oh, I haven't listened to that in a while. Let me pull that out and put it in the in-rotation stack. And so that's the one thing I find kind of cool about it. But yeah, Bev, just wanted to kind of jump on board. Um, I tried to do it across different genres, so not just sticking to metal, because I think that's probably the first place most of us tend to you know, lean towards when we think about a clenched fist. And of course, the first one that came to mind was Ram It Down by uh, Judas Priest. And she showed that in her video. So I decided, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to use that one. And then also, uh, Can I Play With Madness, the maxi single. She had that in the background of her video as well. And I was like, oh, that was another one I was going to think about using. So I skipped over that one too. But uh, so yeah, so here are the ones that I pulled out. And again, trying to jump across different genres. And I think I pulled 12, so, I mean, give me 10, but you get two extra ones. All right, so let's just kind of jump right into it. First one here, which I think is arguably maybe the best when it comes to a clenched fist album cover, is the one and only Rainbow and the Rainbow Rising. I mean, that's just, that's just legendary right there. I freaking love that cover. Beautiful. This is arguably number one on my list. Another one, which I thought was kind of neat, which really kind of exemplifies the idea, which is Disturbed, 10,000 Fist. Definitely my favorite Disturbed album. Actually, if I pull open the gatefold here, you can probably see like the entire. So, yeah, very, very cool. That That's a great one. And then a record I'm probably showing in a thread video for the 50th time. This one always seems to make its way in. Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. One of my favorite, favorite albums. First album, not this particular copy, but actually still have the tape. First album that I ever got out of the store when I was five. I was in fifth grade, I'm sorry. Still have that cassette to this day. So, but yeah, you know, Billy Idol doing the Billy thing. Then we're gonna go to the Fat Boys. As you can see right, and this is um, coming back hard again. As you can see right over there with Kuroski. You know, he's got the leather on, he's doing the fists. <laughs> leather jacket with the gold chain. <laughs> Gotta love it. And uh, of course, this one right here, which is Saint Anger. It's a nice uh, original electric, electra, electra, excuse me, pressing. It's still sealed, too. Never got, never got around to opening that one. Even though I think this is a great album. I mean, of course, you know, the cover obviously has the, you know, great cop picture of the clenched fist there. But um, this is a good album, in my opinion. It, you know, they caught a lot of flack for it or whatever, but I think it was pretty, pretty freaking awesome. And I've always said the biggest problem with this album was that it was a Metallica album. Because if any any other band would have came along, this was what, 2002, 2003 or somewhere in there. If any other band would have came along and made this exact album and it was their debut album, like a band no one had ever heard of, you know, all the critics would have been like, oh, this is such a new, fresh sound and so different and blah, 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 blah. But the fact that it was Metallica is why it got slammed so hard. But screw that. I think it's a great album. Next... Rage Against the Machine. Again, another kind of classic, legendary album cover there. Battle of Los 
Angeles there. And then Carl Douglas, Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> Got a couple nice, nice tight clenched fists there. And of course, everyone remembers the song Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> Black flag, flag damage. Another awesome way of punching and breaking the glass there. Another kind of legendary album cover when it comes to the the idea of the fist. Baltimore. <laughs> you remember, this is uh, Living in the Background. Of course, he had that, that big hit single, uh, Tarzan Boy, from the 80s. Really kind of became big when I guess it was featured in, uh, was it Teenage Ninja Turtles? Uh, but I freaking love the song. I think it's awesome. Just that fun 80s poppy new wave thing. But as you can clearly see, he's gone full board metal there with both both fist, both fist clenched. And then next to the Thompson Twins. Another really good album here. Um, here's to the Future Days. Uh, what was the good stuff on this? Uh, Lay Your Hands on Me. Uh, what else? Yeah, you killed the clown. So yeah, I mean, just I me, mean, Thompson Tent Twins, classic '80s there. But you can clearly see she has, she has both, both. Why can I talk today? Both fist raised high and proud there. And then the last two, you got Y and T. Definitely my favorite album by them because probably because it has my favorite song on them, which is Keep, uh, "Don't Stop Running." That was actually the first song that introduced me to Y&T. But um, as you can clearly see there, <laughs> that's such a cheesy album cover, but I freaking love it. Look, look how horrible that guitar is. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, so Y&T. And last but not least, going with Leather Angels. So you remember them kind of a very cool... 80s hair metal band as you can see right there you know that's just full metal pose or full glam metal pose right there nice fist nice spiked bracelet and the whole nine so those were the ones that i picked out um again great idea bev that was really kind of fun digging through and just kind of you know thinking about that so uh yeah as always vc let me know what you think and we will talk to you guys soon all right take care guys